Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen Hill for Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering quarterbacks that need to get it together before next year. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates and all the breakdowns. Without further ado, let's get right into the action. Even though he's been hot on the scene and you've seen that he's a feel-good story in the NFL, he's been making plays, winning games. Even though he's been traded multiple times, played for multiple teams, I think it's seven teams, but Josh Dobbs, Joshua Dobbs. When you're thinking about how talented he is as a quarterback and what he's been able to do in a small sample size with Minnesota after being traded from the Cardinals, it's an exciting story. But you got to ask yourself, is Josh Dobbs trying to get a payday? The answer is probably yes. Has he been a journeyman quarterback since getting drafted into the NFL? The answer is yes. So what would feel better? I know the Minnesota Vikings have come out and said they want Kirk Cousins back when he gets healthy. But think about this. Josh Dobbs would want nothing better than to win a starting job from his play this year to get a big contract for next year. You know, as good as he's been, Josh Dobbs is terrible a little bit in, care in, in, in Arizona. He's been terrible a lot of places he's gone because it hasn't been ideal. I know we've seen him with the Titans make some noise, seen him with the Steelers, you saw him with different teams, but is Josh Dobbs worth investing in long term? From a standpoint, you see what he's doing with Minnesota. You see how he's keeping him in the middle of the pack. But to my humble opinion, to my truly humble opinion, the answer is no. There's a reason Josh Dobbs has bounced all across the NFL. His success has been pretty good, but you got to keep in mind, it's the NFL. People are going to eventually figure you out. Are you more than a scout team quarterback? Are you more than a gadget quarterback? Are you a guy that's going to be able to carry men throughout the whole season? Are you going to be able to carry that locker room, motivate that locker room each week, and not just play backyard football, but make the biggest throws, not just with your legs, but with your arms too? <clears throat> and that's the toughest question that Josh Dobbs has to look at himself and ask. In Kevin O'Connell's offense, will you be able to grow and become the best quarterback possible? Now, does he deserve a shot? Sure, he deserves a shot. Don't get me wrong. Love the kid. But that kind of winning does not last long in the NFL because guys are paid millions of dollars on the defensive side, just like on the offensive side. Eventually, he's going to turn and run in a circle. He's going to do that little thing where he scrambles around, and it's going to be a defensive lineman there. And that lineman's going to be over 300 pounds, and he's going to want bad intentions with Joshua Dobbs. He's gotten lucky. He's done it like two or three weeks in a row where he just scrambled, scrambled, scrambled. There's no one back there, so he's like, up, 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 and he just runs free. The Vincey teams do homework and they study. They study how to slow you down. Slow, they study what worked for other teams when they beat you. The coverages, the blitzes, everything. It's percentages on everything. So do I think Josh Dobbs is worth investing long-term? The answer is no. It's a feel-good story, though, but I'm just being real with you guys. All you Minnesota Vikings fans, all you NFL fans, get in the comment section below. Definitely check out Sports Choice Plus. We'll see you in the very next video.